talk that I wrote Or all the words that we spoke Yet only with our eyes Now is the time to Hey everybody, welcome to a Saturday afternoon chat It has been a minute, we're back Um, Mama June's got a gambling problem We gotta go this time into this Mama June, life is a gamble, allegedly moves into the casino. Mama June still has the gambling itch so much she allegedly sh- is shacking up in an Alabama casino with her boyfriend. The reality TV star was spotted again at the Wind Creek Casino in Montgomery. And she apparently hit the jackpot because folks who were there last Friday tell us Mama June was cashing out a $1,000 ticket. And get this, we're told Mama told a fellow gambler she lives at the casino and has been staying on property for the past few months. June isn't alone in her casino hotel room, though. We're told her boyfriend Gino Doke come down to the casino floor and spoke with her a few times. This is the third time she's been spotted there. So Mama June likes her slots and she has a gambling problem, apparently. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, Mama June. I like my slots, I too. I'm not I watching an ad to watch Mama June play slots. But, yeah, so huh, so she's kind of in, in, in limbo right now. We don't know really what's going on with her other than she's gambling. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar. Well, first, let's announce there's a couple more Duggars that I think got pregs this week. But, again, it doesn't matter because it's expected. Everyone's like, I'm really like, why is this news? We know they're all going to get pregnant. It's going to continue until they can't go pregnant anymore. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar list their $1.8 million flip house they reportedly bought for $230,000. Now, I looked at this place. Um, it's Look at it. It's kind of like. It's nice, but it's in, like, freaking Arkansas. It's like, who's paying $1.8 million? I think they're going to have a hard time. And just, like, the way the design and stuff, no. No, no, no. Little People Big World star Amy Roloff gets called out on Instagram after the latest episode. Her farm debacle with Matt is really splitting the Little People Big World viewers. Um... Fans immediately went to Amy's Instagram and demanded that she make a decision. Matt had previously accused Amy of being selfish for not making up her mind. Little People Big World fans have held their breath since the premiere of season 14, wondering about the fate and the fun. But after last night's episode, it's clear Amy still has a recent decision she's comfortable with. I just want to make the best decision. Moving out of a house that I never really thought I'd move out of years ago, to think about that now is a little daunting. It's a little scary. It's a little intimidating because I've never been on my own before. Oh, but you're not that guy, that Chris Merritt guy. He will love you long time. Don't worry about it. How about little people? Not little people, big one. 90 Day Fiance. I can't believe I have not talked about 90 Day Fiance since I'm addicted to it again. It's got a new season. And this a new season with the people from like last season, I think, and the season before. We've got um, the family Chantel, and we've got Nicole and Azin, and those people. Plus, then I think it's coming up in like a week or two. We've got new couples, which they're going to air on Monday night. So I think we're getting Sunday night and Monday night. Plus, there's another show on. That talks about the people from really way back. And then we've got the pillow talk on Monday night. So we can listen to the people. I'll talk about the other people. Which is actually a probably pretty good show by the way. That's on like Monday nights at 10 I think. Way past my bedtime. But yeah this was an article about why Nicole and Oz. And he tries to go to Korea. He pretty much scammed the poor girl. And she thinks she's still in love. And then yeah you've got Colty and Larissa. So that's good too. Hit me up in the comments if you're watching the 90 Day Issue and if you got any um, any thoughts. Chloe Kardashian just confirmed Caitlyn Jenner's relationship with Sophia Hutchins. The came up with the Kardashians mom told got candid about her ex step stepfather's love life. Uh, hold on, let's get on to the quote. We just want to quote. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Now, this is an article I actually already previewed, but I must have missed it. Yes, I believe that she is dating a transgendered woman as well. She's really, really sweet, too. She's really sweet. She's younger, but, like, she's not bothering anyone. She's super sweet. That sounds like a Kardashian right there, just in those words. But, yeah, she's super sweet. So, yeah, they're scissoring. We've already talked about this before. They're totally scissoring with each other and do those things. Yeah. Hey. Whatever floats your boat, that's what I say. It's 2019. Whatever whatever tickles your bipper. 
So yeah, anyway, day drinking is fun. Have a great Saturday, everybody. What's going on? I should be here next Saturday. I got a lot going on this summer. It's going to be a rocky Saturday, but rocky Saturdays for the for next seven months. But I know you don't want me to miss out on all that. We got to find out what's happening to Mama June. Hopefully, she, she might be like top tier status in the casino and stuff, and she gets some good comps. We got to go down there and do, shack up with her. Gino. All right, bye everybody. Have a good one. Somebody's yeah. lying and wasting my time. She's whoring herself on a sugar daddy website.